rushing numbers from the Temple game are pretty much off the charts. We talk about Wimbush going for 106, Dexter Williams in relief of Josh Adams, and of course Adams, when I think uh, Notre Dame running the football, it's about Josh Adams, and he had a buck 61. Uh, so you got to feel good about uh, the offensive line doing what uh, is expected of them and the running game are really coming uh, uh, to play. Yeah, I think there's a great, uh, you know, which came first, the chicken or the egg debate. Um, with this Notre Dame rushing attack, you know, they do have three great running backs um, in Josh Adams, Dexter Williams, and uh, Tony Jones Jr. And of course, when you add uh, Wimbush scrambling, that doesn't hurt either. But they also have two great All-Americans uh, along the offensive line, uh, Mike McGlinchey and Quentin Nelson, um, and then Sam Mustafer, uh, the center, and Alex Bars, the right guard, have really come along um, since last year. They kind of both struggled, and I think the new strength and conditioning staff has really helped them. So, you know, I'm sure there's a, a nice debate um, between the uh, three-headed monster in the backfield and the, the big guys up front about who's really doing the work. And it, I think it's a little – it's a combination of both. Uh, you take a look at some of those holes uh, that the offensive line was creating um, for – uh, these three running backs, um, and you know, you or I could have probably run through some of them, um, but you or I probably can't really take it sixty yards. Um, and uh, so, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see when they go up against Georgia uh, here this week um, how well they can continue this rushing attack. Um, it's going to be, I mean, Temple Temple is a physical team, um, but it's going to be a lot different going up against an SEC opponent. 